Growing up, I was always interested in the mental game. After years of study, I developed the Basketball Brain program. My life is devoted to helping others achieve their greatness. I hope you'll like, subscribe, and if you take a chance with the Basketball Brain program, I promise you your game's going to reach levels that you never thought possible. Today I want to talk about something I've noticed people with killer instinct do. I call people with killer instinct rares, which is short for rare species. And a rare species is a species that you don't see very often. You encounter infrequently. They're the type of people that succeed at an exceptionally high level. And one of the things they do is they work in secret. They are people who, when they show up, and this is why they work in secret. Well, there's two reasons, two main reasons. Number one is when they show up to an event or a performance, it looks as if their talent is natural. I'll tell you a story. I knew this woman who was very successful and I was talking to her brother one day and her brother was saying it was crazy. They were uh, of the same age because they weren't twins, but he was adopted. He, he said in class, she just got A's on every test and she never studied, never would study. And it was amazing. She seemed to just absorb the material. Well, one morning he had a stomach bug and got up at 4.30 a.m., 5 a.m. and had to run to the bathroom. And as he was running to the bathroom, he saw under his sister's door that the light was on. She was waking up early at 4.30 a.m., studying till 6.30 a.m., and then shutting her eyes, going back to sleep till you know 7.30 or whenever when she had to wake up, just to make it look effortless. That's a lot of the reasons, uh, that's, that's a big reason why a lot of successful people, I think, wake up early in the morning to work out, stay up late at night to work out. That's secrecy. So it looks like God-given talent. It looks innate. It looks like you've been bestowed by the Greek gods with some superhuman gift. You know, athletes do that all the time. Maybe the teammates see it and, you know, they start to realize, oh, he's just a really hard worker. But the competition typically doesn't know how hard you're working. So when you're work out in secret, when you keep the media away, when you're not posting too much on social media, it's a little bit of a mystery how hard you're working. You're keeping the competition guessing and they think psychologically what happens is when you see somebody so good, you, the competition may start thinking, oh my God, that's just God-given talent. I can never match that. It's like uh, um, Michelangelo said, they call what I do genius, but if they saw how many hours went into this, they wouldn't call it genius. I remember in 2008 when the USA basketball team was preparing for the Beijing Olympics and LeBron James and Dwayne Wade and Carmelo Anthony and Kevin Durant, a lot of the younger guys were there, Kyrie Irving, and they got to see firsthand how hard Kobe was working so he could no longer work in, secrets, in secrecy around the team because he was with them every day and there's not a few players who said, seeing Kobe Bryant up close, how hard he worked, it shifted the paradigm in my mind of what it meant to work hard. So Kobe sort of changed the NBA, I think, with one summer Olympics training, uh, with his training routine. He, people saw what it actually took to become in the conversation of uh, one of the greatest of all time, to be a legend. So that working in secrecy, when, when you're not working in secrecy anymore, People can, people who don't understand start to understand. It's another reason they often work in secrecy and that's for artists, that's for writers, that's for businessmen, everything, uh, or everyone rather, who is highly successful, likes to, likes to make it look like it was God-given. Other than making it look God-given, a second reason that people typically, rares typically don't want to show to show or showcase their work regimen is because they feel like they have a special formula. They do things a certain way. They found a secret recipe that creates success. That's why you don't see a lot of leaked training regimens online for athletes or even for actors who get jacked for a movie. It's always some bootleg regiment that somebody tried to deduce from watching film and getting clips of the athlete working out. They don't really know what the athlete was doing. Sometimes you get interviews that are very vague, but for the most part, they try to keep it secret. If you find uh, businesses all the time try to work in secret, 
I was just watching a documentary about the building of the uh, Airbus A330 and the secret length they went to to not allow Boeing to know what they were up to. Okay, it's that same mentality if you're a big corporation. You want to stay secret. You want to stay in the shadows. And when it's time for and when it's time to perform, you burst out onto the stage and people are amazed at what you've done. It looks genius. You know, to a certain extent, Elon Musk and Steve Jobs do this. Elon Musk, from what I understand, is a bit more of an engineer, but he's not the one creating most of the technology in his rockets or cars. He's hiring the very best people and he's smart enough to oversee it and ask intelligent questions and maybe make some corrections. Steve Jobs didn't have nearly the engineering capability of Elon Musk, but they both in general do the same thing. They get a product, they work on it in secrecy, and then the iPhone appears and it looks like magic. The Tesla appears and it goes zero to 60, a four-door sedan, and I don't know, 2.3 seconds, whatever it is. The idea is the same. An analogy is you are this corporation where you're off working on your skills and then your book comes out, or you're off building your product and your product comes out and it blows people's mind. It's the same thing uh, that these big corporations do. They're working in secrecy. They don't want their competitors to see. And then when they hit the stage, you go, where did this come from? Athletics is the most palpable example of this, obviously, because you know an athlete from one season to the next can work out a lot, train his skill a lot in secret at his old high school gym, and then they come onto the court the next year, they have new muscles maybe, they have new uh, dribbling skills, they're faster, they throw the ball a little better, they, but it's done with that work in secrecy. That's when it's done. And again, the reason is it looks like it's magic. It looks like it's God given. And you want your competition to think no matter how hard they work, I'm just doing this naturally. There's something to that. And second, you don't want people to see what it is you're doing. So they can't, you don't want them to copy you. You don't want them to know what you do because then they can build a replica of you. Do you understand? Now, if you're somebody who's not in that superior position, a lot of what you need to be doing is becoming an investigator, investigate genius. You want to break down those walls of secrecy and find out what they do. That's why being an apprentice is very useful. That's why getting around successful people and mimicking what they do and finding out what their routines are is so valuable, okay? So your job, if you're trying to get to that killer level, to being one of the tops in your industry is just that. You wanna make sure that you get near to the success. Get near to the success and then steal their routines, steal their rituals, and eventually add your own stuff to it, tweak it, okay? So killers, you've heard the phrase, killers move in silence? Well, killers move in secrecy as well. And they do so to psychologically impact the competition, to make it look like it's God-given, that it's magic. And second, they move in secrecy to protect their Let's call it the propriety of their practice sessions. They own it, it's trademarked to them, they don't want anyone else to see it, and you really gotta prove yourself to get close. If you're on the outside, try to get close to them to see what it is they're doing. 